Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Right, so this is going to be a, a Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon and a Cancer Rising, a weekly tarot reading July 29th to uh, August 4th, 2019. And uh, bear with me a second guys to shuffle the tarot cards and we're going to jump straight away into the reading. Alright, so the first card which stands for the topic for a Cancer week, that is going to be the Six of Swords. Followed by the second card which stands for the challenges that you need to overcome, that is going to be the Page of Pentacles. Afterwards what we do have, it is the positive aspect here, and that is going to be the Queen of uh, Pentacles. And then the last one, that um, it is the guidance that you um, should incorporate into your month, or rather like what kind of a guidance the tarot has for you, we do have the lover's card. So uh, it looks like a cancer that you are going to stand in between the hammer and the anvil throughout this uh, throughout this week, unfortunately. Now, the sad thing here, it is that you all are fighting for the same goal. It is just um, the differences lies into the strategy and the means that the both party wants to exert in it. And um, like I said, unfortunately, you are going to be caught in between, right? So, for example, you know, you may have two good friends which are a couple, you know, and they may fight and you unfortunately are caught in between. They both doesn't want to break up, but they do have differences in how they see the relationship moving on forward. And unfortunately, you will have to be the peace dealer, the peacemaker. So that is what the, the week is going to be all about being the peacemaker, uniting everybody under the common goal, the mutual goal that you, know, you all have so everybody can be happy. So let's run down the cards one more time before we scrutinize the reading here. We do have the Six of Swords as a general topic followed by the challenges here, the, the first person, which is the Page of uh, Pentacles. By the way, this is the one that you uh, have to convince then it is the positive aspect that is going to be the Queen of Pentacles. And in the last one here, it is the uh, Lover's card, which is the Guidance. <clears throat> okay, so the first one, which is the Six of Swords, it does point to the tremendous efforts that you will have to put. As a matter of fact, uh, when we talk about the Six of Swords, we're always talking about a, a, an approach or a threshold one needs to cross which the other side of it, it's kind of unknown, all right? It is more like a, a shooting in the dark without knowing what actually is going to happen. But the thing is that if you don't do anything, if you just stand in the same place, for sure bad things are going to happen, all right? Or uh, I would say unpleasant things are going to happen. And the Six of Swords, uh, according to the Alistair Crowley's um, 
explanation, it is more like a, like I said, a peacemaker, like uniting everybody that's sitting in the same place right now and just, you know, doing nothing. It is worse than actually trying something, okay? And for that reason, uh, I, you will have to push yourself a lot throughout the week, you know, to give the reasons behind why people should do something, all right, instead of doing nothing. And uh, you being caught into that situation is going to put a lot of a, um, it's not even responsibility, but let's say a lot of pressure upon you to to resolve the situation itself. And man, if we're talking about your work, that is going to be the most heavier where the, the reading may hit you, all right, into your career. Two co-workers working in the same project as you are, they both fighting each other, making setbacks all, all, all the way along. And it's it's like you're going to have enough of it. So it's a, it's a point where probably you know you're going to be rather rough with them which is the exact approach that you should incorporate here with the six of swords i don't know how to say it in english but you need to kind of like go to extreme measures all right the accompanied card here of the six of swords it is the three of cups formation it is a active neutrals and uh, man, they, they definitely doesn't have your vision. I mean, it's I would say that these people that you are going to sit in between, they are rather selfish, all right? They want, they both, both forces, I will, I will name them forces, all right? They both forces, both sides want the same thing. But the thing is that every side thinks that their approach and that their strategy is the perfect one. And the other side doesn't know what they're talking about, really. But uh, in reality, what happens here with these cards is that none of the sides actually know what what is going on and how another grand achievement is going to be uh, is going to be accomplished. So uh, that being said, it's um, it's where you step in okay, and uh, make fools from everybody that it is a. Um, that it is involved into the situation because this is what you need to resort to, you know, making them look as a force as they, they don't know what they're talking about. So they can even consider, you know, uniting with the other side. And, uh, you know, if these are your children, that could be a real clash, clash of the children where they both want to play with the same toy. All right. But they do have different ideas how they want to play with it. Okay. So that leads us to the first person that you will have to deal with, and that is the Page of Pentacles. A youthful person, you know, I'm not saying youthful in, in age and in years, you know, it could be an old guy or, or a lady, but has a youthful spirit. A person who is very tenacious and very stubborn, unfortunately, and very slow in performance as well. Why? It's because they want to be meticulous. And this perfection or a strive to perfection it is their undoing in this case okay so in other words that is a person who is wasting time trying to perfectionalize a unsubstantial uh, um, details the accompanied card here is going to be the page of uh, the, the ace of pentacles excuse me and unfortunately, that is as well the person whom um, the whole situation depends on, all right? That is the one who holds the key to the uh, the opportunity, one to further their goal, to the success into your business, to the harmonious flow into relationships or into your relationship, if you want to say it that way. As soon as that person is on your side, which you're going to have difficulty to do so, um, <clears throat> there, is there is going to be a lot of progress and as well a lot of content also in regards to the situation you are finding yourself at. And that leads us to the next card here which represents the positive aspect and this is the other person, the Queen of Pentacles. So self-absorbed, a, uh, a person who uh, very well know how they stand, very objective, all right, and they are not unwilling to make a compromise. What I mean is that for them... Um, well, let's say that the results matter more than uh, bending the knee in front of someone. So that that, that person is going to be willing to uh, to succumb, all right? But not without uh, 
reasonable doubt or reasonable explanation how things are going to proceed on forward and not without any assurances all right so this person will want assurances but the positive aspect is that this person is not is not going to give you hard time they are on your side they do share your vision they do share your goal as well the accompanied card here is going to be the um hermit card so formation it is a, a passive supporters once again and with the hermit it's uh, uh, basically together with the queen of pentacles you can establish a, a very substantial standpoint a very substantial milestone either regarding your business or either regarding your career you know or your relationship as well a, a very intelligent strategic strategic position right uh, which will allow you to temper with the situation itself. But I said with the situation, not with the other person. Okay. So uh, that being said, um, once again, page of pentacles here and its contribution still is going to be a trouble, still is going to be the pain in the A and uh, is going to be a difficulty for you. But unfortunately, you may have to go out of your way to, to win the favor of the Page of Pentacles. Even you have to promise things that you don't have, that you don't want to promise, right? It's to such an extent one should go for to win the favor of this stubborn person, Page of Pentacles. So uh, that leads us to the last card, which represents a, the um, guidance that Tarot is offering to you, Cancer, and that is going to be the Lover's card. <clears throat> so this is a little bit on the side note here with the lovers well um this week apart from standing in between two forces all right trying to unite them for the common goal uh you are going to have a lot of free time all right a lot of time that you can spare uh and that you can attend to your own personal businesses and for that reason the lovers here urges you to address lingering issues all right issues that you didn't have the luxury of spending time to resolve and to resort as well so that should be the other topic of the week for you so we do have a week of two topics where the primary one is to unite forces while the other one is to actually turn to yourself and resolve issues which are lingering mainly mainly related to a um a communications right and mainly re related with uh, with uh, not commu in, in relationships because you need to establish a harmonious flows into those relation relationships, which you are going to have the chance to do so throughout this week, July uh, 29th up to 4th of August. The accompanied card here is going to be the Tree of Pentacles formation. It is a active enemies that we do have. So with the Tree of Pentacles, it's uh, pretty much um, you are going to be very convincing. All right. You don't have to... Um, how can I place it to beg people? Not with the page though, with these peripheral things. So it does look like that for one or another reason, you are going to have the edge in the upper hand, you know, over the troubles into your relationship or the problems there, not the troubles, but the problems there, you know, a problem since your career as well. And it's going to be foolish not to take advantage of the situation and to resort them in any way uh, that you do can. Because uh, this time around, with these cards, it is not you who needs help. It is the others that needs your help. And you can definitely take advantage of this. So that being said, Cancer, this was your weekly tarot reading, July 29th to August 4th, uh, 4th 2019. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.